Hey, what is up guys? Today I want to go over the two new worm prints that came with the wedding banner. There's Bridal Dragon and Haldum Grooms. The 5 star print, Bridal Dragon when Max Unbounded, gives 18% dragon damage and 10% shape shift prep. So this is a direct upgrade to King's Continent's Dragon's Nest and Dragon's Arcanum. Not only does Bridal Dragon have slightly better stats, but it also has dragon damage to go along with that shape shift prep. This is pretty good. This obviously means that your character will deal a little bit more damage as a dragon. The base transformation dragon damage boost is 20%. Then we have Dracolith buildings that give 1% bonus damage per level and it goes up to 20%, right? That's 40% right there. Then add 18% from the worm print and you have a total of 58% bonus dragon damage. Pretty good stuff. Now, even with all that said, I don't think it's a print that you should immediately buy if you have the other shapeshift prep worm prints already maximum bounded, but you should consider getting this print eventually. I would recommend focusing on buying the useful damage prints first, such as Rosanna Rendition, Levin's Champion, Kung Fu Masters, you know, damage prints like those, and then when you have excess Outwater, then you can go ahead and buy Bridal Dragons. Yeah, it's a good print, but I don't see it as a must-have type of print as of right now. Like in squad raids, 3 shape shift prep on your AI allies and 2 damage print on your main should be good enough. The only couple cases where Bridal Dragon has a lot of value currently is for epithet speedrun challenges and for making the 4 times Fjorm cheese strats clear a little bit faster. But yeah, overall it's a good print, but it's not high priority. Halidome Grooms has energy double buff and buff time 20%. There's only 2 prints that have buff time now. There's Haldum Grooms and Bellathorna. Buff time is an excellent ability for team buffers like Melody and Elisan, for example. Even though this is a direct upgrade to Bellathorna, in some cases, it's not worth investing in this print if you already have a max unbounded Bellathorna. Let's use Melody as an example. She doesn't have any way to give herself a defense buff, right? So she can't utilize the energy double buff ability from Haldum Grooms by herself. So given the fact that both of these prints have buff time 20%, She's really only gaining more stats from Halidome Grooms. Melody can however get a defense buff from allies, right? So if you're using Melody in high Mercury Trials, then the common defense buffer that you will see is Lowen. He's got a defense buff in his skill too, but here's the thing. Energy only becomes relevant if you can stack it 5 times. How many times can Lowen actually grant defense buff to his allies during a single match of high Mercury? Probably not a lot. I've used Lone quite a bit for High Mercury and I don't even think I use his S2 more than like 3 times so in this case, investing in Haldum Grooms wouldn't be worth it for strength buffers like Melody herself. What it is good for are for defense buffers like Ryozin, Sinoa, Cybella, and Lance Aileen just to name a few. It could even work on Galaranzo since he has such an easy time granting himself defense buffs. If you are using it on these defense buffing characters, then I would try to take advantage of that defense buff by equipping them or surrounding them with Valen Crowns for that strength double buff ability. That's how you're going to get the most value out of this worm print. Now if you don't have Bellathorna maxed out at all, then yeah, by all means, buy this print over Bellathorna. Both of these prints are good, there's no doubt about that. Are they worth buying? It really depends. If you already have the budget versions of these two prints maxed out, then it's probably not worth spending all that Eldwater and Consecrated Water to max out these two new prints. However, there are some extreme cases where it is worth upgrading into one of these prints, like the example I gave with Halidome Grooms equipped onto defense buffing characters. But like I said, if you don't have the budget versions of these prints already maxed out, then they are indeed a good buy. Now this of course is just all my opinion, I could be wrong, so let me know what you guys think about these two new prints in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.